Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Destiny Iron Galahorn exotic rocket launcher. So we'll get straight into it. We'll show you the box, guys. And as you can see, it's nice and large. It's not very heavy, guys. So keep that in mind. So lots of detail and information going on all the way around the box. It's quite impressive. Do let us know down in the comments what you think, guys. And uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel. We'll just get rid of the tape and then we'll pull it out. We'll uh, assemble it if it's required, get some batteries if that's required and uh, have a bit of a rundown on how it all works. So I should have dealt with all the tape. There's just three small flaps to contend with on the uh, bottom of or the top of the box, guys. If you are interested in replica weapons from uh, video game franchises, guys, I've done a few on the channel, so go check out some of the other weapons on the channel if it's something that you're interested in. Okay, so. Just gently drag it all out. It's looking like a very nice piece. Nothing else in the box, so we'll just get rid of that one. Okay, so this is what you're going to find on the inside. Once you pull out the contents. And I've got a bit of work to do. To um, actually get access to the weapon. So we'll try and fold the sides down and we'll see how that goes. Just bear with me guys because there's uh, quite a bit to contend with here. like we are in. Okay, so we got one side out. We got one part there guys. Nice long cylinder tube looking thing. We have a box here. I'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Looks like we got the other part to the weapon there. Just place him there for a second, work out how that all goes in together. Looks like that's all the pieces except for um, that box there, which I need to deal with some tape on the back. Okay, so that should lift out now. We have a small part there as well. Okay, so this piece is quite heavy, but there's nothing else in there. It's definitely um, meant to be Definitely made it to protect the weapon, that's for sure. Okay, so we've got our three parts here, guys. No instructions. So if we try and quickly work out what is going on. But this looks like it slots in there. So there's a track there and a track there. So I'm going to try and line them up. And that goes in there. Cool. Now, 
where I just need to maybe look at the box. Maybe the box has the instructions on it. Um, so this goes onto the side. So apologies guys, this comes down on an angle to hold it up. Probably not because it's gonna um, slot back up. So that is facing that way. Okay, so this slots into here. Right, okay, there's some batteries that need to go in. So uh, try and uh, get those in and then work out what happens. Obviously, maybe once we pull the trigger, we will um, have some lights or sounds. Okay, so there's your uh, replica rocket launcher, guys. Pretty cool, nifty looking piece. Do like the, uh, the silver metal engravings all around the uh, actual weapon. It's quite impressive. Okay, so like I said, that's the stand there to hold on to when you're uh, wanting to um, fire this bad boy. Okay, well, uh, that's everything included in the box, guys. So uh, like I did say earlier, do let us know down in the comments what you think, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also stick around for the outro, guys, because I'm gonna put some batteries in and see what happens. But for now, we're gonna conclude this part of the video. Welcome back guys, so got uh, the batteries in, takes three uh, AAA batteries, just be aware of that one. They just go on uh, this compartment here, there's a speaker here, so uh, what happens is nothing lights up, but uh, you pull the trigger and it does vibrate and it uh, does fire the uh, rocket. So, pretty cool. Alright guys, uh, well, uh, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave, hit the like button, if you didn't, hit the dislike. Once we get to the next milestone, we're doing the next giveaway, so do subscribe if you're running for that, and we'll catch you next time.